Now that things have calmed down a little bit in free agency, it's good to see the Buffalo Bills and Brandon Bean still trying to contact players and see who will be the next Buffalo Bill. Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to another free agency edition of Believer's Talk as we talk about and break down the free agent signings by the Buffalo Bills, who they pick up, and what will they do as they come onto the team in the 2019 NFL season. Before we do that, however, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, be sure to do that because not only do we cover the Buffalo Bills, we also cover all Buffalo sports, so we will be live later today to talk about the Buffalo Bulls as they get ready for the MAC Championship. We will be live as March Madness starts because the tournament begin. We'll also be live during training camp, during the draft, during the regular season. So you want to hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this signing and let me know what you think uh, what the Bills will do from here on out in free agency. So leave a comment, like this video. It's like down here with the thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. And we will continue to talk Buffalo sports. So we want to talk right now about the most recent free agency signing by the Buffalo Bills. We're talking about the Adrian Waddle offensive tackle, formerly of the New England Patriots, previously to that of the Detroit Lions, 6'6", 315 pounds. This guy was an undrafted free agent by the Detroit Lions back in 2013. Has played in 61 games, has started in 31 games, most of his starting time with the Detroit Lions, including his rookie season where he took over the starting job after week eight in Detroit and he didn't let go for two years. Now, unfortunately, he did have knee surgery at the end of the 2014 regular season. He was injured during the 2014 regular season, had to have knee surgery, and that kind of sidelined his his uh, career for a little bit. Then he signed with the Patriots in 2015. I think he's had like seven or eight starts since he's joined the Patriots at offensive tackle, and we can expect him to fight for that offensive tackle position job for the Buffalo Bills. Probably looking at left tackle. Let me know if you think maybe maybe left, maybe right tackle. Uh, but probably looking at left tackle, probably going to um, be in competition with Inseki, in who we just signed as well, uh, as far as who's going to be the starter. But it's always good. Again, you'll hear me say this a lot, but it's always good to get rotational players on the offensive line. Again, you can never have too many offensive linemen. You want to have as many as you can. So that way, if one gets dinged up, we have this guy to back him up. And vice versa, if this guy wins the starting job, if uh, Waddle wins the starting job, it would be good to have the other guy fill him in if this if Waddle gets injured. So, uh, Waddle played his career, uh, college career at Texas Tech, where he did a full four-year career. Like I said, was an undrafted free agent, went to the Detroit Lions, signed with them on April 27th of 2013, played four seasons there, was, or I'm sorry, three seasons there, was dropped at the end of the 2015 season, and then picked up. Uh, by the New England Patriots, and then he's been there for the past three seasons now. So he is 27 years old, I think I read. Uh, 27 years old, uh, so he's a, he's a little bit younger, so that's exciting. He has starting experience, again, 31 starting games, so uh, we look forward to see where he does. But again, the Bills marking off needs, right? I mean, it looks like we know we're doing this free agency. We're not picking, we're not getting the top tier guys, right? Because most of them are already gone anyways. But we, we never were looking or focusing on the top tier guys. It seems like uh, Brandon Bean and uh, Coach McDermott might have made a couple phone calls to see maybe we can get them here, maybe, we, maybe they're a little too expensive. How can we make it fit? But at the end of the day, looks like we're getting a lot of offensive line help, which again is something we are in desperate need of. And also looks like we might continue to go that route for a little bit longer. Still some good offensive tackles, offensive guards remaining, but we've now signed five offensive line players who can help us out during this free agency period. And that's not to say we still won't draft a guy or two in the upcoming NFL draft. I'll have my mock draft out shortly, and then I'll do both. I'll do both of Bill's full seven round mock draft and I'll do a full first round mock draft to let you guys know what I think is going to happen uh, for the Buffalo Bills. I look forward to that. But yeah, the Buffalo Bills signed Adrian Wilde to a one-year deal. The terms of the deal have not yet been uh, stated on Twitter or anything like that, so I'm not sure exactly how much the money is. But guys, again, I talked about this before. The Bills are still looking at close to $40 million in uh, cap space. And again, you need to save about 10 mil of that for the NFL draft. 
you need to save about 5 to 15 mil of that for the regular season in case someone gets hurt, in case you need to do a quick signing or two or three, because we all know injuries happen in the NFL. It's a physical game, even though they're trying to take the physicality out of it. It's still a physical game. People still get hurt. So you want to save some money for that. You have to save the Buffalo Bills currently. Uh, I did the I, I looked at it on Spot Track currently at like 9.6 million estimated uh, for the NFL draft, so about 10 million there. So we still have some money to play with. Still plenty of names out there that we can get our hands on. I just did a video talking about what free agent names are left. Uh, we talk about Anska, who's out there, who has met with the Bills. We talk about Clay Matthews, possibly. We talk about Dominican Sue. We talked about uh, Jay Ajahi. Uh, we'll see what happens. Still plenty of names out there. Randall Cobb was another one that comes to mind as well that one of you mentioned uh, in the comment section. So still plenty of names out there. We'll see what happens come uh, the rest of this free agency. Again, the waters have calmed down a bit, right? It's not as exciting, not as fast-paced as it was last Monday or last Tuesday uh, when the when the tampering period started. But you'll still see these signings happening. And then there'll be another frenzy. And then they'll slow down for the draft. And then right after the draft, there'll be another frenzy of free agent signings. And we'll have you covered for all of them right here on Believe Stuck. So again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, guys, hit that subscribe button, like this video. And again, leave a comment. Always enjoy getting back to you. We will have you covered for all Buffalo sports, whether it be the Buffalo Bills, whether it be the Buffalo Sabres, season coming to an end whether it be the Buffalo Bulls March Madness guaranteed to begin the women just won the MAG championship we'll talk about that in the live stream as well so make sure that notification bell as we will be going live this evening as we uh, do live play-by-play -play reaction of the Buffalo Bulls game uh, for the MAG championship so hope you can join me for that I look forward to seeing y'all soon again the Bills sign Adrian Waddle to a one-year contract offensive tackle continuing to improve that offensive line. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Till I do. Go Bills.